hello there cancer and welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i really do hope you are well thank you so much for liking the video thank you for sharing the video with those you love and for subscribing to the channel all of your show of support is abundantly and truthfully appreciated thank you so much for being a part of this journey these are general tarot card messages for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus well not general we're going to be looking at some money for you within the next three days we're going to talk about finances <clears throat> bear in mind as we talk about money that money is literally how you are feeling about yourself remember that money brings to you happiness so money literally is the energy that you give to it. Whatever is making you happy, that feeling of fulfillment, all you want to achieve, that's what money is. Money is whatever you want, that feeling of complete fulfillment, having abundance, life, just being free, you know. So really, when we do these readings, I want you to intend upon the feelings that money will bring to you the feelings that whatever amount of money that you hope for and do not limit yourself because we live in a very abundant universe let's talk about the abundance of this universe show cancer the abundance of this universe is based upon the contribution and effort that is enabled strategically into the out the outpour and the in pour of life itself so really it's about service and it's about giving and taking and also realizing that you are a natural part of this cycle of life but you really do get to control and to maintain the amount that you give and take you know what i mean it's up to you how good do you feel the jack of diamonds energy is that one which looks good and feels good inside and out literally whenever i see this person i'm thinking of a classy gentleman that loves to dress well smells good wears expensive colognes and watches works on his mental health has confidence he comes out strong and powerfully is not very talkative but like low-key kind of confident you know this is this jack i'm so happy it came out and i took the time to really pre this energy because that's it you embodying the confidence or the energy of wealth my goodness these trucks the trucks you're hearing they're very regular occurrence they transport sugar bauxite mall all these things going across the country uh okay so it's talk it's talking about productivity as well you know being of service with the energy of movement and industry and trade commerce you can't just expect to feel vibrant if you don't are wealthy if you just feel like you're not giving you know let's look at the other card serving moving victory the six of swords i feel burning up and on fire in passion hmm it's as if the, the energy of earth is always Abundance always naturally is flowing. The six of wands energy here is like um, fertility, reproductivity, fire, passion, sex, intensity, things that keeps life flowing. Okay. It's also taking action, being courageous, knowing who you are, connected to your roots. So it's knowing what purpose you serve. That is truly important in your wealth. So the, the universe itself is completely abundant in a Cancerian. But if you feel cut off from it by, let's see, tell us Cancers what abundant, what can cut off their, their um, connection to abundance. Let us know. I hear depravity, feeling deprived. Now, why would you feel deprived and having to fight for something to struggle to get this or that? 
you know it's the opposite of feeling like you already are it's this energy because listen the jack of diamonds card is coming to america vibration eddie murphy all wealthy and it's and i'm telling you it's not just about wearing the clothes it's about that internal stability in feelings of wealth you expect good of yourself you think highly of yourself other people's opinions don't affect you you know that's when you're in the jack vibration because you know who you are and the value you bring you see yourself as valuable as worthy okay for for whatever it is that you want to accomplish whatever dream you have standing up and going after it it's almost like just getting in the clay in the midst of it like i'm feeling these tractors and the wasp energy came to visit us again right now it's talking about efficiency and being organized and going after what it is that you want that's how you bring health and wealth and prosperity within your life I'm feeling the energy of just being industrious. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a lot, like if you have a lot to do, it's almost like that's what it's bringing, industrious. You know that energy? Always having something to do, so you're always receiving. But if you're just laid back like, mm, where's my wealth? It's not, it's, you're not in the vibration to receive it because... As within so without if you feel poorly then where who, who is wealth going to come to poorly you know what I mean so you have to really start working on you your mindset know what you want have a vision what do you want a million dollars by a morning okay do you feel worthy of that is your mindset aligned for that and ready to receive that or are you just dreaming and wishing and like hopelessly wishing and telling yourself these things and only torturing yourself? I'm, you know, we have to change our mindset, our vibration right now. Tell us, tell these people who they are. Tell them who they are. Let them know. Well, I was hoping to see the sun card, but this is saying you're a child of the most high. You are one with everything oh my god i'm getting soft and mushy it's the energy of a father wanting his daughter to know that my entire kingdom belongs to you take off it as you please my darling why do you feel depraved from this king i'm um, deprived from all these beautiful things in this kingdom that i've created for you yes you are a child of this abundant earth you are too anything that you can dream up and to create and to fantasize it is meant you're meant to receive and to manifest it and hold that and experience that you only torture yourself by telling yourself it is hard and it is not easy it's not attainable we understand why that happens it's because of how we've been programmed growing up and that's why this most of this healing journey is about breaking these mfn barriers you know and it's, it's also so very powerful breaking these barriers because we're trendsetters. Let me tell you, we are the game changers to what the world will become as we are creating in 5D. Not being told no and all these things and not having a limited mindset to abundance. And listen, look how beautiful and abundant this abundantly the sun shines. And we literally have everything that we need. Let's talk about luxury and wealth and the feelings of having a lot of money and all these things. Tell me something about this. Not being cut off. It's almost like being in a devil in, in the vibration of the devil sort of kind of like being the devil's cousin. Because you're like, I don't deserve all the wealth of God. Why not? Why not? Why don't you deserve that? some lies that's going to yeah that's it's going to be like go off it's not true show me justice justice in what the three are ones is justice mm, six i don't know so things are changing hope for the best 
view yourself as well so this is just i feel like that's the message here in this reading you know you have to switch up your vibration before the external switch up miracles happen show us a miracle happening <laughs> it's talking about miracles happening every day around us every day a miracle happens this feels like a seed bursting up out of the earth is a miracle it's where you look and what you're focused upon and what your intention is i urge you to really cultivate feelings of well-being and worthiness inside of you every single day tell us some things that cancer and can do now sing to cultivate feelings of well-being every day Oh, it's like creating good feelings inside. Try experiencing better feelings. That's what it is. And, ooh, yo, it's so powerful when you create these better feelings. Look, it's so powerful creating these better feelings. Taking charge of your own feelings. You're going to realize just by making that switch, like you're going to imagine this, you're going through a very bad day, right? And it's a normal feeling like, oh, I go through this phase every hour. I go through this phase at like an hour a day I feel down. That's taking away you know how, much, how much of your wealth vibration that is rubbing you off right there. Anywho, so say you decide to take charge and to transmute this energy to really use alchemy because the power is within you to change this feeling. And you say... I'm going to take charge of these feelings and maybe be more grateful. Try to cultivate better feelings. Play some frequency that's going to make me feel better. Heal this. Because why? Listen, why are you tolerating bad feelings? What, what is it feeling? What is the negative feelings really feeding? If it is not helping you to prosper, to succeed or to feel well, why are you tolerating it so move it out with other frequency like music singing chanting vibrating the body experiencing ecstatic energies flowing through you and then replacing it with feelings of happiness of hopefulness maybe get to work start creating start dreaming start feeling good about yourself you have to con don't let the external control you. That's when you're uh, literally a slave to whatever influence is out there trying to control. You have to bring it in and know how you feel and what you want to feel, what you want to be. Okay, and it's important you do this every morning to love you. Remember I was saying you are a child of the Most High. Okay? And as you begin to know this, that's when you be you become the sun itself. You become su a success. You become abundance. It just is. And it's something that naturally radiates around you, to you, in you, by you, as you. It becomes your full experience as you know who you are. And let me tell you this. I know that you go through hard times, through the days when it feels like you can't control the thoughts and the feelings and so on and so forth. But I lost my train of thought. But don't forget who you are. Going through tough times. Especially. That's when you're going to be called upon. To become your greatest version. And to pull through for you. Pull through for you. Don't forget who you are. This innate love is inside of you always. That's the energy of God, you know? Like the father to his child, the mother to her son, whatever. And she's saying, I love you unconditionally. And this love is your birthright. You deserve every inch and every ounce of abundance that you desire to feel and to live and to experience. And everything other that you've been feeling is a lie. The idea of struggle, of it's just a lie. And I feel changing perspective as well and just loving all things, including the struggle, is profound in healing. Loving even the struggle, as you know, it is a part of the entire experience. 
and even as a greater enlightened spiritual being you get to see that all is within the vibration of love you know so this is the money reading but we're talking about how you feel about you what you deserve your feelings of worthiness it has to go back to source to healing that remember remember that you know wellness and wealth is the same wellness starts within you and you can control the wellness vibration in you by bigging it up amplifying the vibration focusing on it and making sure that your internal world feels well and is operating well its energy its frequency its nerves remember you can change the charge you can change the frequency and every day that the sun shines you ought to remember that you're connected to source and there are cooperative components aligning for you especially with the thoughts that you're feeling the actions that you're taking the feeling that the new desires life wants to continue procreating and living and thriving and your new beautiful ideas is just stretching it there is no limits there are no limits so dream on dream as big as you can and within you now cancer you try you do your best every day to align with that feeling that matches the vibration of well-being that you want you have to when the doubts come in you tell yourself like doubt i know because you haven't had the experience you know you're gonna come in but i'm gonna show you you know you have to even convince yourself you have to have faith in you be your biggest cheerleader on this journey forward into your ultimate well-being because all of your readings about wealth i feel like you ought to know that you are the source of your own wealth vibration and the universe is abundant and it's you tapping into that and knowing who you are and it all aligns for you and then if you want to know more of who you are to find your purpose and um to have a feeling of well-being and satisfaction when it comes to your wealth and purpose you start to plant seeds here and there you know see what comes up mm -hmm. Right, so this is the message I have for your concerns. Much love. Thank you for participating. I'll uh, see you in the next reading. Remember that you are all and all is within you. As you leave, please like the video. Share it with those you love. Share it in your groups on Facebook, on WhatsApp. To um, allow other fellow Cancerians and water signs to find messages of inspiration. And family and home. And all of these things that we want in this time. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And all of your support is abundantly appreciated. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Remember that. You're all. Alright, take it easy out there. Bye.